Hello folks and welcome. Filming in 1080, even though my screen is in 4K mode, please adjust your YouTube player accordingly. The uh, subscription logo is in the corner. I have well over 500 videos on all kinds of subjects. So today I'm going to talk about a special calendar called NCAL. It's not installed by default. And that calendar allows me to display not only a single month, but all, all, also three months at a time. And uh, that would be current, previous, and the next month, or a complete year. And that would be uh, either for this year, next year, or even any year you plug in. And the other thing about this, having fun with your friends and family, you can, uh, as long as you have somebody's birthday, you can tell what day of the week, you can tell them what day of the week they were born on to have a little fun with your friends and family. And this calendar is actually ran out of terminal, so I will show you how to use it. It's very simple. It can be installed through Software Manager or Terminal. So hopefully we'll have a little fun today. Again, filming in 1080, welcome. Subscription key is in the corner. Now I'm the type of person that don't speed read on the uh, videos because I appreciate the fact that I do have subscribers all over planet Earth and none of them, I wouldn't say none of them, but a lot of them are non-English speaking. And English is also my second language. And I do appreciate it myself when I watch other people's videos like on car parts or car repairs that they don't speed read. So that's why I explain things in detail. So let's open up Terminal. So if you don't know how to make this bigger, it's Control Shift plus 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 plus. You make it as big as you want. Well, up to a reasonable size of your screen. Do we want, know what man pages are? Well, I'll just type in man man. So manual pager utils or manual pages uh, describes a lot of commands. Not everything is in here. But a lot of times when you need to go back and look at a command, you can open this up and type in man pages. I'm going to hit Q to quit. That's how you can get out or you can hit close. All right. So what I'm going to do is type in M A N N C A L. That's the name of the application we're going to talk about today. And you'll see no entry for it. However, we need to install it. So N C A L is not installed by default. Same thing if you type in Cal, it'll give you the same response. But it's giving you a clue how to install it. It says sudo apt install ncal. But I'm just going to use apt <coughs> install ncal. And then it'll ask for my sudo password. Okay. And then it'll take off. And it's done. So I'll punch up clear because the screen is busy. Now I'm going to type in MAN and Cal. So NCAL and Cal are both the uh, same display for man pages. It's just a calendar, but I'm going to show you how to use it if you've never used any well, one of these things. Cue to quit. Here's the Cal statement. Simple calendar and Cal. This one highlights today's date. 28th January 2025. You can also see the calendar here. All right, so this calendar obviously can display the same, and if you cycle through the years, you can do the same through the months. However, this one's a little bit more powerful, at least in my book. Punching up clear. If I needed to view three months, I would just type in cal space dash three. January in the center, December on the left, February on the right. I'm going to put an N in front of that. And now you can see it in a different light. <clears throat> so generally, here's Tuesday. Today's date is the 28th. All right. <clears throat> what about the full year? Well, that can be done this way. Cal space dash Y for year. And what year do you want to display? This is current year, 2025. I can put 2026. I can even put 1928 if I like. Full year. 
So the way this calendar displays is the Sunday through Saturday are done in blocks on all of them. For NCAL though, I'm not going to clear the screen. Just take a look at the prompt downstairs. I'll point to it. NCAL space dash Y lowercase y space and the year. Alright, so this calendar displays the Sunday through Saturday on the left columns and that's all you see. You don't see them going across. But how to read that is, let's pick on Friday. That would be 3, 10, 17, 24, 31 for January of this year, 2025 and February 7, 14, 21, 28. And I can just drag a line through the whole thing if I want. Some people prefer to read it this way. And some people prefer it this way. <coughs> so in either case, I'm going to punch out clear. And let's think about somebody's birthday. Or maybe some event in time. So Cal. And uh, this will be January. This will also be January. So if you want December, that would be 12. Hopefully you get the idea. It's very simple. So it's Cal space month, in this case, January, and then the year, whatever it might be. So I have a friend that uh, he chuckles every time uh, I tell him this, but uh, I, I've told him a couple of times that uh, he was born on a Sunday and he keeps asking me, how do I know that? He was born in February 7th, 1965. Because that's the calendar from that year, and that's a Sunday. That's how I know that. So you can have fun with your friends and family. So I'll show you a couple of different ways to do stuff like that. So NCAL, same thing, except I'm going to use February this time. I'll use the same month, the same year, excuse me. Uh, either way, uh, Sunday the 7th, Sunday the 7th. All right, so do you just put, plug in anybody's um, birthday in here? So punching up clear. So if I have a hypothetical friend, that's a calendar, and I, it's in May, that would be five. And let's uh, take something more current. Let's say uh, 2001. Let's say you got a friend born May 2001, and your friend was born on the 19th, that would be a Saturday, he or she. Again, you're going to have all kinds of fun with your friends and family. A little bit of trivia or history. Um, some of you folks are from the U.S. July 4th, 1776. What day of the week did that fall on? And don't use the internet. That would be cheating. So that's the month and that's the year. That was a Thursday. July 4th, 1776 was on a Thursday. It doesn't matter if it's birthdays or some date in time. All you got to do is plug that in. If you want to do some calendars from previous years, I'll give you NCAL space dash Y 1928, whatever, whatever year you want to plug in. So that's the calendar year 1928. You want to do future. Okay. I'm going to punch up control C and punch up clear. So if I want next year's calendar, either Cal or NCAL, it doesn't matter. So I will type in Cal dash Y 2026. So scrolling to the top, calendar for 2026. So this is Tuesday the 28th, so that would have to be a Wednesday next year. So this will be the full calendar year for 2026 for whatever purpose you want to use it for. Or you can use specific dates. Let's say you're looking for May of 2026. There's your calendar for May of 2026. I'm going to type in the word exit and say thank you for watching.